My name is Maya G. What industry are you in? I am in the marketing industry, but I do and dabble in other industries based on like what clients I'm working with. And I also am stepping into the cannabis industry as well in new and exciting ways. Do you consider yourself an underdog? I do consider myself an underdog and it's mainly because of just how I felt about myself sometimes. Like I haven't tapped into my full energy and my full potential creative um so i think that that's what makes me an underdog and so i have to take time to like overcome my own fears and doubts about myself in order to you know just really be at the forefront can you tell us a story or time of an unfair moment that happened to you while in the beginning stages of your career yes so in the beginning stages of my career um i worked at a marketing agency here locally and I was the only black person um, and I was also the youngest in the company as well and so I faced a lot of microaggressions um, with the work that I was doing. I had to work twice as hard and to be considered half as good as we all know um, and I actually ended up getting fired from that job um, because I was making mistakes even though I told the my manager that I had a lot of anxiety about you know producing different things so it really just made me kind of doubt myself and doubt the abilities that I have, even though I know that I am full of potential and full of like creative ideas. I just don't think that I started off in a place where it could really, where I could really just blossom in the area that I was in. So that kind of put me down a little bit and just made me have to rebuild my confidence from there. How did you feel after that experience? I felt very defeated afterwards like when I when they called me into their office and they were like yeah this is your last day I was devastated I did not know like what my next steps were going to be um or anything that I was going to do after that um but it was actually losing everything that brought me to exactly where I needed to be it's when I really found myself um and actually that's what's making me step into the cannabis industry because um, I found, I started doing a lot of research in my free time because I didn't have a job um, about weed and cannabis and all the things that it has to offer and just the benefits of that um, was making me pursue my um, vision of becoming a cannabis conversant and also just to continue helping other creatives within like the marketing and just entrepreneurial space as well. What are your dreams or goals now? So yes, like I mentioned, I am taking this time to learn more about cannabis and to start my um, podcast called Operating on High. Y'all be on the lookout for it. She's coming soon at Operating on High on, on all the spaces. Um, but I'm, yeah, taking my time to really produce that and um, just make it a, a safe space for people who consume cannabis and also taking the time to pursue my entrepreneurial endeavors, which I've always wanted to also have a um, marketing agency. So I'm happy to be a part of the Liquid Era team to be able just to bring all different brands and whatever ideas they have, you know, just bring those ideas to life and just give people a good foundation understanding of branding and, you know, just help with all the operations as well. My name is Maya G and I root for the underdog.